Well met, this is Ever Standing 7, and we are on Elder Dream tonight. Uh, I almost didn't make it tonight, but here I am. I'm going to play, I'm going to try, I'm going to shoot for a couple, three hours. We'll see how far we get. I unfortunately did exactly what I wasn't supposed to do, and that is not played Elden Ring a single bit since the last time I played. So, that's not very bright. We're going to try one time against this boss. And then we're going to Altus. I will probably die a terrible death here. This is what happens when you don't play Elden Ring for eight days. Just started a new character for DLC. Went Confessor. Nice. I like Confessor the best just because it's the drip. I like the clothes. I'm doing better than yesterday at least even though I just vomited, but that's on I me. Mean, should have eaten after taking medicine. I said I was going to attempt this once, but I'm going to attempt it one more time. And then we'll go into Altus and maybe somebody here can help me find. Sir. Thank you. Jesus. I haven't even hit him, but I did hit him once. I really have to get out of the habit of hitting shield and dodge at the same time because it doesn't let you dodge. I'm used to older games where the dodge would actually go through and you drop your block but you don't do that here.
Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, one more. One more. And then I am done with this. Boss for a while. Trying to work pretty well. You could, but you have to Back to trying to dodge. Stop hitting block. <laughs> I am not having a good time. Should have attacked there. Pretty much have to. Do this part perfect. Ow. Wow. That's not going to do any good. Panic rolling. Panic rolling. Would have been nice to do a little damage for it. Hello. Yep, the tails. Cannot recover fast enough. All right. Since I don't have any summons upgraded at all. We're going to say goodbye to this boss and go to Altus. Actually, first, I'm trying to remember how to get to the Moonlight Greatsword. Okay, I think I need to talk to him. I think, I think, I think. I want to say there might be some bosses in Kayla too I'm missing. Do, 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 
Just let me walk past and I'll let you alone. But no, you have to follow me, try to kill me. Great horned headman. This place to me. If either of us learns anything, we tell. And if we reach a dead, tell of us where he gives it. Leave this place to me. If either of us learns anything, we tell. And if we reach a dead end, I suppose tell of us where he gives a straight answer. Hmm. Does that mean I need to go back talk to some of us, or do I just need to sit down in altars? Because I know soon we have to take care of Radon. Celibus is less danger, I guess. Less of gamble. Hello puppies. Bye bye puppies. So well done. Very well. Knowledge of the side out, Matthew. If you put your mind. You wish to begin right well? You... Uh Good -huh. some ice crack. That sounds like fun. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the Mundle, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping you. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in the engrave. She owes me the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. I am a lover of RPGs. So do I have any... What do I do?
I am currently playing in two tabletop games. Three tabletop games, I'm sorry. Well, playing in two DMing one. Begging for another letter, does it mean? Yeah, I want that one. Caring for links, I'm not sure, but do I have enough to get all of them? No, uh, 20, nope. So, that's so right, she is in, weeping, right? Yes, yes. Half of your character's effectiveness is a hundred percent how you look. Which this is just a carrying night armor, but so play Skyrim after I uh, finish playing Pokemon Fire Red. Sweet. Have you never played Skyrim? You've got to play Cyber Skyrim. I, uh, have been thinking about doing another Skyrim run on the channel. It's been some months since I've done Skyrim. I was feeling a bit dizzy earlier, that's why I had a late start. But I think I caught a second wind. I had a, uh, went to church yesterday, had a good. Gathering, I guess, would be the easiest way to say it. That might be bad. Okay. Not terrible. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty good taking some, uh, cabs. Enjoying the dope ass guy online. Ah, uh, that's cool. Appreciate that. Uh, have I not done this a little bit? I guess not. Something we'll have to learn to do that, isn't it? I 
I am looking forward to it. I, I haven't watched too closely at the. Uh, I just watched it once on you know. It, I just watched it once, but it looks pretty awesome. Some pretty scary looking bosses in there. Oh, we're a poison city. Okay. Seems pretty awesome. I look forward to it. I just, there probably won't be, but I just hope it's not too obscure to get to. And I hope it's one of many. Dark Souls 2 would have three DLCs, that'd be great. Or more. That'd be even better. Uh, have you summoned people online to play with you? Uh, no. I'm not actually online. I'm on Xbox Live is uh, not current, but uh, my first playthrough, I, I, I did that in my Dark Souls 3 playthrough, it was a lot of fun. Once I get Xbox Live back, I would not be opposed to doing it again, especially since now it's not my first run. Matter of fact, uh, what was it? It was Nameless King. Pretty much had to have help with Nameless King. He was rough. Oh yes, I love the meteorite sword. I found it. On my other playthrough, but I wasn't playing Dex Intelligence. Dex or Intelligence, I was a Strength Faith Wheel. And with this playthrough, I pretty much went straight for it and got it. And I think I want to use it until I get the Moonlight Greatsword. Six, yeah. I'm doing all right. How are you? I got a late start. I was feeling a bit dizzy. But, uh, I think I got a second win now. All that for that. I'm trying to find, uh, I remember Celio was down here somewhere. Lost your mom. Oh man, that is so sad. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I would do if I lost my mom. It's about the saddest thing ever. And it being sudden. Let's 
so sorry to hear that. My second playthrough now and I started with a blood flame blade, black flame blade. Then we'll change it to a glasses blade. Then, yep. Yeah. That's my fir that's what my first point for the wind up being was a glasses blade. Yeah. I started off with the um, I uh, the crescent moon axe. I used the crescent moon axe a lot at the beginning. And uh, once I got Blaster's Blade, it was over. I was. I mean, I played around a little bit with some of the other weapons at the end game. of it all, but we are making sure she gets services. She wanted the creation of thing was she was only 48. Wow. Uh, I am level 65. 48. That's younger than me. I didn't see the DLC trailer. It looks awesome. I just watched it once. I know if I saw some streamers were watching it like for hours, just rewinding it over and over again. I didn't do that, but uh, okay. it will do no good. I swear it. Yet you persist, you frothing degenerates. Yeah. She's at peace in a better place. It will do no good, I swear. Okay, I guess uh, I go to the Altus then. So I think you find her at Altus too. I don't know if I need to though. She is definitely at peace. There's a song, a country song, uh, When I Get Where I'm Going. Uh, there'll be only happy tears. I'll shed the sins and struggles I have carried all these years. I will love without fear. I don't know if I've actually watched this. That's amazing, yes. Uh, when I get where I'm going on the far side of the sky, the first thing that I'm going to do is lift my wings and fly. I'll land beside a lion run my fingers through his mane, or I might find out what it's like to ride a drop of rain. It's, uh... Dolly Parton has a is uh, uh, it's a duet with Dolly Parton and someone else. Uh, Brad Paisley. Brad Paisley, Dolly Parton.
for some reason I thought there was more to it than that. Yeah. Yeah, she does. She's got a beautiful voice. Has it has for been singing for decades. All right, let me get this Grace over here. Then I'll go to the mansion. So you have to actually sit at office. I should probably have watched a video reminding myself how to do this. That would have been smart. I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff. I hereby invite. Take my hand. Give me your hand. I will pray that you follow the same path as Lady. I was messing around with the off stream playthrough and I went with her to Volcano Manor and forgot to sit down. And I couldn't, I was having hell trying to find it again. So, I deleted the character, starting over. How'd you talk to her before this? Uh, in the swamp? You talking about talking to her in the swamp? Or, in the other playthrough, I did make it to here. There's another playthrough. I did make it to here and forgot to sit down. Yeah, she's in the swamp. Hello! It's going pretty well, how are you? Alright, now... Uh, do I go back to knock her on it? And tell him I'll see him for a rather I don't remember I know you have to kill Radon and go down and get the finger blade thing but I think I messed that up too because with the other character that I deleted If I don't get it, I'll just be sad. They spawned a little bit earlier than they did. Got off the horse in the wrong spot. Got off the horse in amongst them. It happens, yeah. Well, if you can get upset about deaths like that in these games, you probably should not be playing these games. And why do they just vanish here? How about locking onto the guy that is right next to you, huh? Um, 
I use my quick menu for healing and touring. That's a good idea. I've seen uh, streamers do that. have to uh, yeah, and summons yeah I'm trying to not summon this playthrough because especially like at the end of the game I went through some of the bosses so fast I didn't really get to fight them you're a better gamer I believe you ah what news Right. Leave this place to me. If either of us look. Okay. So that didn't help. Ah. Yeah. Well, I want to summon for Radon, one hundred percent. But for most bosses. I'm gonna try not to summon. I think I'm gonna do like, you know, like I, the Misbegotten Duo and Crucible Knight. I died probably six or seven times against them, like two or three times tonight. Uh, I'll come back later at a higher level before I summon. What's up? What's up? I'm trying to figure out how to get the uh, Moonlight Greatsword. What's his name's not here? Oh, there he is, okay. Hmm, I must admit, but you must have heard by now, right? Well, she's the star in the sculpture alley. down holds Rani's feet uh, in stasis. Well, that's for sure, yeah. But once he's out of the way, it'll spring back into motion. Yeah. So now, we stand against the demigod once known as the strongest of them all. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight. Sword, sword and fang. Nice. Once more into the <laughs> Once more into the fray. Champions! Welcome! Ah, indeed I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, in truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I. Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Be sure to get a good vantage. I. Okay. Are you good and prepared? The festival. I hope this is right. I think it is. Before we begin, allow me to paint oh, you man. the full picture. I did not notice the new weapon. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Gathers the corpses of four friends and foes alike. 
gorging on them like a dog. That's disgusting. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Redan Festival! Hmm. So isn't there a somber five over here? Yep. Alright. My first playthrough, I think you killed me. I think I got him on a third try. Sticks, okay, I'll take it. All right. I got this. Ah. Casual greetings. about this fight is just try keeping him on the screen. Figure I'll use some magic to put all these points into magic. Not even hitting him. Where I can see him, thank you. There we go. We're 
Bond's weak to gravity type moves. Huh. Did I know? I did not know this. Noise. I know his tricks. Some of them. This is like the... I beat him on my first playthrough on stream. I think I beat him once. Off stream. It was the third time I beat him. A red mark was made on the map. Hey, buddy. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. What a sick way to fight me. The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And ha, <laughs> did you see that afterwards? Falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been clear. To Nokra. Barani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Let's meet where the falling star will go into battle. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fair curtains rising. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got cracked. Ah, hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a croc. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my inside to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward. Aww. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. <sighs> but don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. That's disgusting. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. <laughs> just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait. When next we meet. <laughs> the bodies found here. Who could expect them? <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Alright, so what's down? Probably one level. And I have no idea what I was leveling up, so. Oh, well, I have two levels. I almost get bigger to 30. Nice even number. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I want to say. I want to say. I want to cheat. Look it up. Elden Ring. Moonlight Great Sword. Thirty-eight intelligence. Ouch. Okay. Well, we'll start heading that way. Oh, wait, I have almost enough for another level. Two six. Uh, I remember 
sure there is a cave over here somewhere. I'm just gonna go hit the bonfire because the bad guys in there are are tough. They're they're, they're tough. They're late game. I think now I'm supposed to go down with uh, Blade, 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 the Wolfman. Go with the Wolfman. Okay. If it's an invisible wall, I surely don't remember where it is. I'm pretty sure I have passed it. So I'm almost out. Oh well. Maybe I'll find it later. Oh, well, there's more to it here than I thought. Okay. So, no. What's this underneath this giant skull, which... It's not. I know I'm lost. Let's run out. No, I don't know where to go. That's what I know. Just accept it, embrace the lostness, and move forward. The trigger taken care of. I want to knock on them. Go on, I'll catch up.
as you can see, I, I, I don't read it down there very often. I don't remember where to go. Down there? It seems like death. Yep, that seems like death. I wonder where I go. Don't think I can jump back up there. Okay, well, attempt number two. When the madness gauge is full, you will go mad and lose a great deal of both hit points and focus points. All the humans can be afflicted with madness. This doesn't feel right, but the way that felt right was a dead end, so. Huh? I've been down here before. I have to remember how to get there. See that? That's where I was. I don't seem to have to go anywhere from there. This is exciting. Oh. That was me hitting B to get off the horse instead of left thumbstick. Because in Conan Exiles, another game I play where you ride a horse, B is how you get off the horse. It's not super relevant to this game, but that's why I just did that. Yeah, maybe it being daylight will be better for me. See from here where to go. Maybe. Somehow get off of the horse, Jesus. Well. Don't 
know why that was so hard to see. But it was. Oh, wow. I knew there was an item back there somewhere. Golden Rune. I think we'll remember this place. No reason to stand up. You can just stay in your block form. No reason to get up. That's why I like the Mean Arc Blade. Although I probably could have just done you know, a couple of attacks, done the same thing, but. Mm. Hello! Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. My second playthrough. First playthrough is an intelligence build. Trying to remember how to get the Moonlight Greatsword. Just killed her, Dawn. First try. With all the sons, though. Ow. That was uncalled for. Rude. supposed to step through here. Smithing five, which what is it? I need fourteen so ooh, so I do need six fives. I have three. fall distance in this game always gets me. I always think I'm going to fall. I'm going to die.
Is this worth me jumping over there? Probably not, but since I don't have to run, jump over there. Just a walk. It's worthy. Okay. Cool beans. First thing I need to take. No, no, no. This is the bell bag. mind not killing me? That would be appreciative. Nice. Lover tier. So mean to me. We could just get along. I could just run past you, but what's the fun of that? Elden Ring! That's right. Trying in vain to remember how to get to the uh, Moonlight Great Sword. I don't have to go down here. Some distance. But I don't remember much else. Do you have to go all the way to pass the uh, awesome human? Yeah. I'm trying to. Hopefully I, I don't mess it up. So I think five. Great. Shield Soldier Ash. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh yeah, the mimic.
Wow. Really? First time I've used magic in an hour. I run out of it. Kill Radon first try, this guy marks me. Are you gonna do anything besides just run backwards here? Jerk. Here is up ahead, yeah. That gavel doesn't F around. Okay, now I see. Yeah, it's cool. I would love to one day run into you in PvP. Uh I have not ever really done PvP. In all the Souls games. The only PvP I've ever done in the Souls games is uh, when I had no choice. I have seen the DLC. It looks amazing. Closer. He dodged way better than I did. I do like to uh, keep my options open up. I see a lot of people in PvP will stick with the same weapon even if they're not having the best luck with it. That might be a good series for me to do once the DLC comes out. Erebus tries. Uh, PvP. Especially Coliseum. Yeah. You're so hyped you've already pre ordered it. Nice. One of my favorite fights in the game. Yeah, we got what? Four more months? It's not too bad. Uh, no. Well, kind of. Dude, yeah. I should go do Preston so while I'm thinking about it. Songbird 5. Okay. Hmm. That's right. You go this way. Thought that was more important. Hmm. 
pretty stingy. Are you going to get uh, the quest item for Randy? That's the plan. Don't I have to go this way for it? Is it way down there? Yeah, down at the bottom. This is definitely one of those things I do not remember how to get go there. figured they would dodge. Wow. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Mace just ignores shields? When did that happen? Yeah, I hate I hate platforming in all games. Especially this game. It is funny, I'm dying way more often in my second playthrough than I did in my first. Empty fights are ridiculous. Uh, try some harder than actually. Yeah. Yeah, I killed Radon my first try a while ago. These guys kill me though. I'm not even going to complain. Of course, you know, maybe I should have used the, you know, giant reach weapon I have in my, I have right here. That might have been useful against them. Oh, 
Well, I don't care if someone is up ahead. If I don't, I don't have it. I don't debate it. Well, I'll probably, I mean, I'm going to pick it up 100%. I just don't know if I'm going to, like, use it. I'm trying not to summon nearly as much, but when I get, I'm not restricting myself to not summon, but I want to summon only when I need it, you know? Uh, and I, I summoned the Mimic tier the whole first playthrough once I got it. Uh, the pack is really good, especially because uh, I've made a bleed bullet, yeah. Uh, so I'm looking for a, kind of a late, mid game to late game summon to plus up. Oh, I thought that was kick. Someone's really helped me through my first playthrough. When I see you, you don't use them. Oh, yeah. My first playthrough, I used the Mimic Summon, like, automatically every time I opened a boss door. And I wanted to... Use it less often. Use it just when I need it. Really? Yeah, I was afraid I was going to step off. Is this it? <laughs> For a little bit of damage. I think there's another one of those jerks in here. There you are. Nice. Grace up ahead. Nice. Oh, that's right. Let's see if I have enough to level. Uh, pretty much. fight everything through here or I can just run. You can kill the blobs up ahead before they shapeshift. Can I? 
refugees. Uh, yeah. That works. Yeah, I remember. Did I miss you? I think last time I was here, I just ran past them. But this will work too. Nicely done. Hmm. Where does that go? I wonder. Finger Slayer Blade. That's what I need to take back to Ronnie, isn't it? Where does this go? It says there's an item back here. Take you back up to the grace where you started. Uh, uh, okay. So now I need to go give this back to Ronnie. I'm guessing. Yeah, I need to, every time I play this game, I leave it alone until next time I stream, like a week. I need to practice during the week. I get uh, out of practice. It was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. Mm. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. Fine service. What is it? I too am... Okay, so... While I'm here...
<coughs> Let's go over to Selvius, Selvius, whatever his name is. I think he's got one sorcery I didn't buy. Bad puppies. Puppies had to be punished. Exactly twelve thousand. Uh, all right, my man. I uh, have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Hope to catch the next one. I'm going to finish this uh, joint and go play some for honor. God be with you and stay healthy. Well, God be with you as well. And thanks. I'll be back tomorrow night. I'm going to try Kingmaker again. Last time I streamed Kingmaker, the computer just crashed on me. Hopefully that was just a weird situation. But yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. I'm trying to do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Begging for an uh, doesn't mean So, ooh, it's kind of nearly Oh, I have a scroll. Let's go visit the Pope. Real quick. Give him the scrolls, because the turtle pup gets all the scrolls. He's a turtle pup. He deserves all the scrolls. Watch the DLC, he turns into a bad guy. And all the spells you give him, he can use against you. Wasn't there a like, Final Fantasy boss? Uh, going to see the homie dog, right? That's right. Was there a Final Thanks. Fantasy boss that was like a giant turtle that? Oh, what have very well. Was like twelve thing. hours or something to play to beat him. Oh, wow, what a lot of heresy is not all thing. Oh, what very well. Let us heresy is not all things. Can. Oh, what very well. Let us heresy is not all thing. Mm, Swift some shard. Playing points. I'm not sure. I've never played. Yeah, I didn't really get into uh, Final Fantasies either. My brother got into one of them really big. I have one that came out, you know, four, five, six, eight years ago or something. Uh, but I didn't get into it. Alright, uh,. Well, I think about it. So there are one of those Bobby Yagas. Running around over here. Oh, well. That reminds me, I've been uh, 
getting back into the lore of Vampire the Masquerade. It is so amazing. If you've never played Vampire the Masquerade, it the mechanics aren't that great of a game, but the lore. We're supposed to come out with a computer game for it. Oh, is this one you have to jump on? Heard of it? Well, the cool thing about it's uh, so it takes real world and so Cain, as in the biblical Cain, was the first vampire. God cursed Cain to walk the earth, and he became the first vampire. And vampires have been around in the shadows throughout all of time. And they take history and you know, what would history be like if there was a secret society of vampires running things? And they're pretty it's pretty amazing. I just love the idea of playing a character that's, you know, hundreds of thousands of years old. Okay, I think I have to do it from the... Yeah, it's super in-depth. One of my favorite characters, uh, I wrote this character history that he died at the Battle of Hastings. I've always been fascinated with the Saxon, Norm, the Norman invasion of Saxony. I have since learned that I was, because I, I wrote this character's history like 30 years ago. I've since learned that I uh, didn't know as much about that battle as I thought I did, but it was still still a lot of fun. And they take a lot of mysteries and history and solve them with the supernatural. Oh, and there's also werewolves and wraiths and mages and changelings in the world as well. well close. Any ghouls? Yes. There are ghouls. In a uh, vampire, a, uh, to make a vampire, you take a human, drink all of their blood, and give them vampire blood. And that turns them into a vampire. A ghoul is a human who drinks vampire blood. So they get some of the vampire strengths, but not their weaknesses. And they're not as strong usually. But as long as they keep drinking vampire blood, they live forever.
but there's another tragic truth about oh. goals. Vampiric blood has a magic to it where uh, if you drink vampiric blood from the same vampire on three separate occasions, you are blood bound to him and you love him more than anybody else in the world. So you're kind of an emotional slave. But, there's nothing, but there are ghouls who uh, basically hunt vampires down for their blood. And I love the, uh, the the 13 different clans. What happens if the Bloodbound Vampire dies? Then, basically you are no longer in love with that person, but you need to, if you're a ghoul, you need to find blood, uh, vampiric blood soon, or probably within like a month or two, You'll revert to your actual age. So if you're, if you're a if you're a ghoul who has been drinking blood for ten years, you'll just age ten years. But if you're a ghoul who's been drinking vampire blood for five hundred years, you'll just turn to literally just turn to dust. Is a lot closer to 38. Well, I can go ahead and get them both. But another cool thing is uh, so Cain, the first vampire, he created three vampires who then created, of those three, they created 13 more. And those 13 rose up and killed the three and Cain cursed the 13. Well, those 13 became clans. So, like for instance, Bruja is a clan. If you're a Bruja, that means if you go back far enough, of those 13, you are descended from Bruja. And Bruja has its own strengths and its own weaknesses because there's so many powers associated with vampires not everybody gets everything nobody gets everything uh, different clans get different things like the Bruja get uh, super strength super speed and the ability to charm people with their looks and their flaw is they get angry way too quickly Uh, meanwhile, like the Lazambra, uh, they uh, are super strong, they can manipulate shadows, and they can force people to obey their words, but they're the ones that don't cast reflections. So each clan has its weaknesses and its strengths. And you can blood bound a vampire as well. That's how through the ages the oldest vampires have kept the younger vampires in line. But in the history of vampire, during the uh, in the history in the world of vampire, the world of darkness is what it's called. Uh, the Inquisition was some real shit. 
humans came up and killed a bunch of vampires. And during, soon after the Inquisition, the younger vampires rebelled against the older ones and has changed the political landscape of the vampires. It's a very political driven game, which unfortunately the group I try to GM it for is not a very political group. They want to play Ugly Smash. Which is fine. Okay. We're running for. Oh. Where are we going? I'm going to go grab the uh, golden seeds that are up here and uh, wonder where I'm supposed to go next for the. Uh, I'm supposed to go. Oh, probably to the tower that turns upside down, isn't it? So are there sex of vampire hunters? Yes. Hunters. That's what they're called. Yes. And some of them actually get powers. Uh, there's also a... Uh, so in the game, holding a cross up to a vampire doesn't do anything unless you have true faith. Uh, yeah, just a downtown progress. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, if the wielder of the cross, it's more about the wielder of the cross's faith than the cross itself. If the wielder of the cross has true faith, then the cross does bother vampires. Now, there is one claim of vampires that all crosses bother, uh, but for the most part, it doesn't. And a lot of the hunters have faith, and through faith, there's certain powers they can get. And you don't have to have faith. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have to be faith in the Christian God. It can be faith in uh, Muhammad or Buddha, or Zeus. I see thee, little Tosh. Should I try to fight him? Nah, I'll just run past right now. Try to go over here and get this grace that is next to the black flame. Uh, twin blade. time running around through the forest and you're shooting with giant ballista bolts. Not cool bro, not cool. But like uh, Carthage, the Carthaginian War is a huge part of vampire history. And my love of vampire history actually made me learn more about uh, the Punic Wars. I've always wanted to GM a vampire where they start off like an ancient Rome and go to modern days. But again, my group isn't 
like that. They would rather play Ugg Me Smash. Which Ugg Me Smash is fun. Yeah, there's a lot of YouTube videos on the subject. Obviously, there's a lot of YouTube videos on every subject, right? So there's another seed, like, over here to the left. Next to the other map fragment. I might be wrong. It might just be the map fragment I'm thinking of. Excuse me, sir. God, this. Yeah, there it is. Alt is blue. That's what. I am correct. I've messed around a little bit in Altus. Well, I mean, obviously I went through Altus in my first playthrough, but... Altus and pass Altus, I'm going to be... Well, definitely pass Altus, I'm going to be super lost. the worm face yeah he's pretty rough he's pretty rough all right sit I do. Um, I'll get class eight and four. Sure. Um, is it which rules where the older a vampire is, stronger it is, or is it just sort of random to start? Uh, the older the older vampires are definitely stronger. Yes. Uh. So, older can mean two things in this system. Just raw age, how long you've been on Earth, and also how far away from Cain you are. So, like, if you created a character, you would start off at 15th generation, which is the lowest you can get. So, there's 15 vampires between you and Cain. Yeah. You were made by Bob, who's made by Sue. 15 steps to Cain, the first vampire. So in theory, so the, so a 10th generation vampire only has 10 vampires between him and Cain. So the closer to Cain you are, the stronger you are. Uh, or at least the stronger potential you have. Uh, it is theoretically possible that like a fourth gen who would be an epically, amazingly powerful creature, almost a force of nature, were to create a fifth gen and it'd be super powerful today. And it'll be more powerful than this tenth gen who's been around for a thousand years. But that 10th gen who's been around for a thousand years is probably more powerful than, it's definitely going to be more powerful than anything below him. If that makes sense. Oh, gee. Am I, I, are you here as a customer? Uh, 
lightning pot. I will probably never use that. How many keys do I have? I have three. So like my vampire that was uh, embraced at the Battle of Hastings, I think he was seventh gen. Yeah, I don't know if you play Witcher 3 or not, but the vibe of the Unseen Elder is that the game is, yeah. I have not played Witcher. That's one of those games that oh, I'm, I'm afraid of. I should try. I've heard nothing but good things about The Witcher. I should try it. You hath returneth. Nice. Uh, one, two, three, three. It's five stream streak. Awesome. Need five stream. Watch stream. What up? I've heard of a game called Blasphemous. Uh, I heard of it. I want to say I looked at it and went, nah, probably not for me. Uh, yeah, that game vampires are like. Uh, super duper crazy powerful and at one point you have to go back to talk to the Unseen Elder which is the sage super like original era vampire and even the vampire buddy <laughs> nice Blasphemous is uh, go to love the graphics and our style it's a platforming game yeah. well, that's like Christi Christianity meets cosmic horror and kind of Cthulhu vibes. It's effing dark and gritty. Super fun. Played it three hours so far. Yeah. I don't think that's something I'm interested in. I'll look at it again though. Metroidvania. Ready to have Hollow Knight? Oh man, it's a nice roller with jumping from checking one to the next, isn't that cold? Yeah, it sounds kind of platformy to me. Somebody died. Right, Castlevania. I haven't played Castlevania in. Like, maybe the actual, like, arcade game back in the day? So I don't remember too much about it. See, so, oh, sorry. My brain fart, you didn't say Castle when you said Metro, Metroidvania. Oh, I thought Metroidvania was some type of a cross between... Uh, Metroid and Castlevania. I didn't realize there was actually a game called Metroidvania. I keep trying to get to me, buddy. I don't mind cheating you all day. Ow.
Battle of Uretta's Bows. I don't think that's what's gonna reach me, buddy. Subgenre action adventure games in our platforms focus on guided non linearity and uh, more, you know, let's just across Metrovania style of games similar to Metroid and Castlevania. And did you buy Blasphemous on sale? Yeah, G2A, Zoom Keys on it. So, got it like half off. Also, 30 bucks on 10 random skin keys. It was 95% of supposedly, you know, say, 300 plus dollars. Rip off. <laughs> we really messed with team keys, yeah. So it sounds like he's up for some more casting spells, I think. You know what? Maybe I should, uh, probably not get too many criticals. Though. Oh my goodness. That, that one's on you. That one's your fault. <laughs> Gotta be vigilant though, because some keys on GT, G2A are just cheaper to see. <laughs> Yeah, you clipping it? Okay. <laughs> that was funny. That's something I really need to start doing is trying to clip stuff and putting it out there. There's more people seeing, seeing me. Elder in the Witcher is super cool. You have to use dialogue and balance that annoying him. Not, uh, you get bored and you're missing him. I should help you. Cool. Neat. Yeah. That's kind of scary. Well, let's try this again. This is... Oh, oh, oh. I knew as soon as I hit it, I wasn't going to get it done. Let's see, are you in range for this? You are.
Okay, well. Grissom, if you can use PayPal or something. Yeah. Yeah. He disappeared. Oh, they're down there. Maybe he won't jump up behind me and scare me this time. Since I killed him. Yeah, I'm scared to put my stuff online too. Even though I'm super broke. <laughs> This is why coming over here. Uh, maybe. Square games for PC and PS5, some of PS5 will have a deal with the game. Yeah. Yeah. Arcade. Hmm. Well, it all comes down to what it looks like. Too upset about that. We'll rock it for a little while. Well, well. Wow, where'd you come from? How come he has limitless juice? I want limitless juice. Lucidity. Isn't that terrible? Cross the Garuda, my beloved. Yes. I'm playing over in myself doing a shield. Only build, no game plus five. Wow. I uh, appreciate the heads up. I'll be careful. I'm doing a Spartan playthrough. Right. I have never done shield only. <coughs> my <coughs> matter of fact, my challenges are like 
Uh, no shield. Which I started with this one not using a shield, and uh, you see how that far that went. I've built around one of my DLC ready characters. Yeah. It is awesome. I need to, let's see. I'm at plus 14. So, that's somber. So I need two more fives. Thing. See, this makes me nervous, so uh, actual platforming game. Might be a problem for me. This level. Wow. Well, 448. Yeah, with this character, I was planning on going into New Game Plus. Of course, I'm, you know, a long ways from there. Conundrum indeed. Uh. You have two hours to decide if I will get sleep before I work. I pull a 24 hour. Uh. I don't know, two hours of sleep might be worse than not sleeping. sleep within two hours. Yeah, do we want to be responsible? Does anybody want to be responsible? We all need to be responsible. Does anybody want to be responsible? We want the benefits of being responsible. Uh-oh. I go to work Friday, Saturday, get Saturday off, and I'm trying to on a normal Monday. Friday schedule has been broken up working almost right in the day since I started. Yeah. I've been trying to work more on my door dashing. Some days I succeed, some days I fail. I hope this isn't a boss. I don't remember there being a boss here. Oh yeah, there's a grace. Okay, good. Is there a... Apostle here? My... Thinking of... A different place? I 
and I don't know if it sucked. Normally you can knock them out. Guys getting the boss. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see if this one can be convinced to go to sleep. Some of them can. But he needs to like stay in the effects water. Oh, he can. I did not mean to do that. Cheese in here. Ooh. You're a pure mage, of space, dex, faith, strength, faith, build around the blast display, Christmas night cosplay, a dex arcane build around the cross Naganita in a black flame blade. Dual spirit no build and ready for the OC. Baby. Whatever Mesmer the Impaler is bringing, I'm um, bringing more. Who's one of the wall build? Two great giant shields. Let's prepare for anything. I am the wall. I might respect my mage into int faith for pure. Yeah, you know, just so I can cast literally uh, every spell incantation. That's cool. I'm not a fan of golden bosses. I know. Yeah. Well, I've got my first character. Strength faith build. Waiting. For the DLC. With the Blasphemous Blade and Malachus Blade and lots of cool stuff. Go throw a piece of Ever 11 11 because I am responsible. Be right back. I hear you. Don't get me started on fire to the right. Divine Tower of La Arnia. Noise. Probably some taquitos. Maybe some pizza rolls. Because I'm getting hungry. Uh, taco pizza. So good. By the way, what the description I'm supposed to lead? Just, yeah. I need to work. I need to work on that. I need to figure out how to get that to work. And set up a Discord page to. I mean, I have Discord for, like, gaming. My license plate character. Uh, it's great sword. Flame fuse gargoyle sword. Ooh, ooh. I'm doing great damage. Jump hex. Nice. Huh. 
I thought this was supposed to lead to... Oh. Okay. I automatically thought it was... Crush my cart with one of Princess Riding's discarded flesh. Crush my cart into the discarded flesh of Riding the Witch, also known as the Half Wheel Wound of the Centipede. This curse mark was carved at the moment of death of the first demigod and should have taken the shape of a circle. However, two demigods perished at the same time, breaking the curse mark into two half wheels. Riding the first of the demigods whose flesh perished, while the Prince of Death perished in soul again. What's taco pizza? Good brain talk, too. Uh, I think taco pizza is just, uh, pizza with tacos topping on it. That's what I would guess. Raises potency of incantations. Let's try that. There's just such a fire, soot blossoms, blazing with gargles, black winters, gargles, great sword. Nice. So, do I take that back to Ronnie? I don't know. Let's see. It doesn't seem right. And Ronnie's not here. Huh. <laughs> This is so obvious. Also, it's always just so satisfying because all the skeletons of the sacred order buff weapon. Right. The death words are decimated by holy damage. Yes. It's death words are kind of scary. Kind of scary. They are pretty spooky. They are. So, you, you ever try challenging runs in any of these games? Uh, not really. I need to. I mean, I, I'm not going to do... Let me put it this way. I don't want to do a challenging run that's a challenge run that's going to uh, just tick me off. I don't, you know, a solo level one run. I think is just going to piss me off. Uh, randomizers would be awesome, which means I would need it on PC, which I want Xbox, uh, and I would need a PC that could probably run it, which I thought I had one, but apparently I don't. Uh, I would love to try the randomizer, so I get that. Solo level one runs are my favorite because you get to be so creative. Yeah, I think I would just get too easily uh, upset with uh, dying to the same boss over and over and over again. And like right now, uh, the Misbegotten duo and Misbegotten Crucible Knight duo killed me. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go to Radon. Well, I'm planning on going back later with more levels. So level one, you don't really do that. Can't always collect more things. Slide edge, yeah. DS one. Probably my least favorite SL1. I can see that. I've always wanted to use this 
twin blade. Get off the horse. Thank you. Almost feel bad. Almost. There's a giant name. Excuse me. Uh, he does the most end-time grinds. I generally don't know how he isn't in the insane asylum at this point. He does stuff like kick only run, uh, only fighting Thorn's armor, only fighting with Rickety Shield. That's crazy. I watched. Uh, Gino Machino. Uh, they did that uh, randomizer Zoodle Mania randomizer thing. And he just took it on himself to do it at Soul Level 1. Nobody else did it at Soul Level 1. He didn't win though. Which was kind of surprising, because he has a winning record with those guys. Oops. I did not mean to throw a sleep off there. I meant to heal. But I did knock the dog asleep. Enemy triple. Uh, well, they beat the game with doing dance pad. Uh, that's crazy. I know they've been trying to do the rando no hit run, which is also crazy. I wish you did the turn where not only I was. A lot of dodge, he had to get hit by every attack. Jesus. I've seen Lobo's. Lobo's been doing that kind of thing for a long time, too. Just don't know how they have the patience, right? Jingo's your favorite of all the time because it's completely good online, never been done before, right? I tend to like, uh, I like watching Zoodle. Zoodle's funny. But he's not the best by any means, but he's funny. Uh, Chris. I like watching Chris, he's really good. When I watch his Otago run, DS2, all bosses. Uh, no hit run way back when, yeah. Back before he was a DD streamer. DVD streamer. I messed around once in this uh, off stream and ran and picked this up. I'm trying to do a run with this. It's pretty good. I don't think it's better than the Fallen Stars. But it's pretty good. Alright. Back in the day, I remember watching... Uh, 
Epic name bro to a Dark Souls 1. I think you called it class. One. Where he uh, basically you picked a class. I think he picked the thief. And you couldn't use anything that the thief didn't start the game with. So you had to beat the whole game with the dagger. And he might not have leveled up. I don't remember. I remember I watched... Um, I don't want you to change my answer to your favorite one I've seen a lot this week. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Jumping. Jumping Productions. Jumping Production. Did a DS2 uh, No Death, No Bonfire run. He did it in uh, New Game Plus uh, and he used all of the consumable items to give your spells back and the repair spell so because remember DS2 your weapons broke so fast to constantly repair his weapons. And, uh, Happy Hobbs God Run 3 where you beat to, oh yeah. Yeah. Is he the one that got like through like three games, got hit, and started over? That's crazy. Forty minutes, it'll be munching. Yeah, he had a bunch of resets. Yeah. That's insane. Loki star I am gonna get starving too. Starving mother. I thought they said a faith requirement. Let's see how long it takes to kill one of these. Kind of cool. I might put some rooms into here. Yep, definitely need to. Button smash them. That's right. Yeah. Do imagine getting all oh, right. That oh my god, that would be so terrible. That would be so terrible. I want my skull. Oh, I can use the skull. Hmm. Both of those are good weapons. So it's just too close to the ground to attack any but it would have hit, but it didn't. Alright. 
Oh, I see. Alright, let's go back to the Nagadito. I kind of want to switch to this Ash of War. I do want to continue the intelligence. Chill the mist. Okay, I see, I see. I saw that and I thought it was carrying blade. I was like, you put carrying blade on a uh, spear? No, you cannot put carrying blade on a spear. You can put ice spear on a spear. Would I ever use that? Why is it so much less damage? Oh. It's not less damage, it's just it's split damage. Happy Hobbs, God, right now, obviously insane, but like, yeah. Just say we had a single digit amount of people DS2 all bosses was taken. Let's see, 221, that's to <coughs> 300 exactly. That's more. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize they put the buff on the blade. Okay. Might be running with this for a while. I think my starving has uh, come to a head, guys. I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, I'll be back tonight, Friday night. Uh, probably going to try King Waker. Maybe I'll do Fallout. Uh, but uh, really appreciate everyone being here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to... those. Taquitos are calling my name. Uh, Alright, see ya. Night, boss. Uh, I'll be back and hope to see y'all. If y'all haven't already, hit like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, I will see y'all later. And remember, please be careful.